My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix pads that have been pulled on an HDMI on an Xbox. The Xbox that I'm working on today is a Series S. I've already gotten the motherboard out and this is what I found. The HDMI itself is just completely off the board. And along with it came, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pads. So let's go under the microscope and I'm going to show you how we fix it. All right, let's take a look. So as you can see, let's zoom out here. It popped off and pulled with it all of those pads. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a couple of the traces ended up snaking up pretty far. Not the end of the world. We should be able to, to make that work. And from, and looking at the actual HDMI itself, it's not in horrible shape. All of the pins look fine. A little bit of evidence of Digging around, I think, probably to see if it, you know, if there was movement in it. But we should be able to just reuse the, I we'll want to bend that back, but we might be able to just reuse this uh, HDMI. That's the first thing I'm going to do is get this HDMI back on there. Well, I'm going to bend up the, the, bend back the frame here. It looks a little bent. Just going to compress it here. There, look at that. It's all straight again. Now you could you could rebuild the pads before putting it back, or we could run jumpers to the to the actual individual pins once we have it down, and that, that's the route I'm going to go with this particular case. All right, so I have resecured the legs; they're all nice and solid. Now we just have to deal with the pins here, so we've got quite a bit of movement on the ones that are not pulled. We're going to add a little bit of flux. And one at a time, we're just going to go in, kind of push them down, reseat themselves. All right, so now that I've done that, what we really need to contend with is going to be these first four and then these last two. So what we'll do is I'm going to zoom down in on here. You can see we've got a trace here that we can tie into this one as well probably just use that one as it is so let's just do that let's use that one as it is it sneaks up and grabs on to this one right here all right these ones are going to be interesting I'm going to scrape away a little bit of the green coating And that one's making connection. I'm just going to scrape away the surface of the trace, part of the trace here that hasn't been dug up on this one. And I'm going to do the same on this one. Add some flux, tin up those traces. Let's just clean it up with some isopropyl alcohol. Make sure everything is nice and secure. All right, yeah, now glad we did that because now it's much stronger. Let's clean up all of the residue. And here's a tip. We're going to use a, a clean room wipe. Really help get rid of all of the, the debris. Just going to double check all the pins, make sure none of them are moving. Those all look really good. Now we'll just get out our UV mask and we're just gonna paint over all of the jumpers that we just made. Mm 
not only will this protect them, but it also secure the uh, the pins better so that the things don't move around when the HDMI gets plugged in and out. Now we'll just hit it with a UV light and we'll be done. All right, now that that's done, just need a test for continuity. I'm just gonna go on top of the pins. Yep, we're all good. And there we go, all fixed. Just need to install it back inside, but you can see that HDMI isn't going anywhere and all of those pins are making solid contact with the traces. If you learned something, like the video, subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.